Are you saying you faked with me? Yeah. wrong now you're single what do you know about sexual relations is it true that if you don't use it you lose it i'm a little worried about being a slut you're listening to become with us podcast talking the good the kinky and the ugly here are your hosts beth aaron and tina hello 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 all you sexy holes and poles welcome to come with us podcast where you're part of the naughty, fun, sexy conversations that everybody wants to be a part of. So glad that you're here. I'm Beth Darling, your sexy genius, here again with Aaron and Tina. Oh, but we also, we have a guest today that is just um, just going to turn you on from the inside out. At least she does for me. We have Dara, the electro Khaleesi. She's a sensual sadist, a dom, and a little We'll learn what those terms are, but they have to do with BDSM. Again, she's been in the BDSM lifestyle for 20 years or 18 years, almost 20 years. Her specialty is sensual and sadistic electro play. So today we are talking primarily about the electro play, which was the violet wand that we had an episode on a while ago. So go check that out if you haven't. Um, but she actually works with a variety of kinks and fetishes. She's a member of the International Violet Wand Guild with over six years of experience with the intensities and variations of electro play. Dara offers private electro sessions and lessons out of her home, demos at parties and kink events in the DC metro area. She also hosts little and pet parties for her local kink group at her home with her daddy husband. Oh my goodness, you are the epitome of BDSM in real life. This is <laughs> awesome. And oh, I forgot, she's also one of the co hosts of Pink Kink Podcast, FYI, an amazing podcast all about BDSM, kink, etc. So welcome, Dara. So glad that you're here. Thank you for having me. This is great. Ah, yes. And you wore purple hair. I, I'm just going to take that personally and think you did it for me. I, you know, maybe you have 27 different wigs, but that's my I, color. So I actually you. did it to piss off Rara so oh. that when she hears and sees this, she'll get super mad and be like, why wasn't it pink? <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh, there you go. Okay. We'll have to get one pink with purple polka dots. That's kind of my fantasy, but. Uh, oh yeah. That'd be yes, super cute. We can just merge it. So anyway, and Ra Ra for, that. oh yeah, that would be it. But Ra Ra is your co-host for the Pink King post podcast. And, you know, um, it's really funny. Normally yeah. it's the other way around. I get the, oh, you're the co-host to Ra Ra. Mm. Oh, well, I mean, you're both co-hosts. You know why? You know why? <laughs> we we were kind of confused too because we went on um your Instagram like a few like a week ago or something, and we were scrolling through, and it's like all all pictures of her face and stuff, like you know oh, her yeah. hair and and everything. So we we're like, oh, is there like you know, is it two people? Is it one? Because she's just doing mostly the Instagram stuff, I think. So yeah, she's our she's the social media person, so yeah. she's like the face of the podcast. I'm just. The voice mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that nobody ever sees, and yeah. uh, <laughs> I feel well, you're you flattered. Girl. That's what, that's what Tina was for us for a while, and then she finally like threw caution to the wind when we started doing this on video, and she was like, "Fuck it, I don't care. People are gonna see my face anyway." No, honestly, I, I mean, like, I'm gonna be sex famous. famous. We're good. My real name is Nina, so I changed it by one letter. I was like, "Oh, that's smart." <laughs> yeah. yeah, Dara is not even close to my real name. Yeah, I should have gone with something way less similar, but you know. I was afraid I wouldn't remember it if she did. So that was the problem. You know, these senior <laughs> moments and on. Anyway, oh, but we digress because let's talk about violet wand, electro stimulation, and oh my gosh, so let's start there because then we have uh, so many questions for you about so many different topics. I'm ready. Yeah, because uh, so Dara reached out to us. Uh, it was episode 59 for us where the three of us played with the violet wand. Uh, especially Tina and I were sitting there shocking ourselves. Um, and Tina, then you have it. Can you show them? Yeah. Um, so hold on. Sorry. Keep um, talking, Aaron. Yeah. I just figured uh, she could. Days after it released, uh, you know, Dara ended up emailing us, uh, come with us confessions at gmail.com for everybody else who keeps emailing us and <laughs> those who want to, uh, and said, Hey, I know you guys wanted to talk to somebody who does deals a lot more with this than you guys do. I'd be happy to do it. So we finally got our schedules, right? after about two months uh mm -hmm. and this is awesome yes because i i like even just in our preliminary because we always do just prelim preliminary chats just when it's the three of us to talk about where we want to go what we want to do with each episode 
but listening to you talk about stuff, I was like, this is more than just like a hobby. This is something that you are so passionate about that. I, and I love that. I love when somebody gets passionate about it, that they learn all the nitty gritty details about stuff like that. Yeah. Yep. So <laughs> like basically to start, how did you get into electro play? Or how does anybody get into anything in kink porn? Porn. All right. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's not how I got into anything. <laughs> Well, Rara always says that she got into kink with uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, which mm. I highly make fun of her for. Yeah. yeah. But mine was, there was, uh, you guys know kink.com? Oh my God. Uh, we just, just had a conversation about this yeah. the other day yeah. about, hey, we should go, try to go to San Francisco and look at the studio and everything. And yeah. They're like, closed. The, really? The, yeah. Well, not them themselves, but like the, the place oh, where they the used armory to record and stuff, the armory, that's, they sold that. So there's someplace what? else now. That's wow. so yeah. icon- it's so iconic. Well, they have a, they have a documentary. So oh. I thought that was awesome. But oh. anyway. Yeah. So we want to find that kink documentary. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally just called kink. Okay. Perfect. And my hero, Princess Donna, is in it. And I was just like, oh, I love her. So she, speaking of, did Wired Pussy, which is like one of kink.com's, I don't know what you call it, affiliates, subsidiaries, whatever you call it. And it was just woman on woman electro play. And I fell in love watching this. Hmm. And then I went to a convention, actually a steampunk convention because I'm a nerd. And one of like, you know how they have those seminars and there's talks and classes and stuff. One of them was like a 10 o'clock one. And we were like, oh, this is going to be rated R. Okay. And it was how Victorian medicine is the basis for modern kink. (sighs) And the guy was a pro dom and he had a violet wand. And he, I I was like, I know what that is. I, I know what that is. Oh my God. And he said, did any, he explained it. He said, this is what we do with it. Does anybody want to test it out? And I was like shooting out of my chair. I was like, me, 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 me. Uh-huh. For any so, like particular reason or just because you had pre- previous experience or you just like you got off on the porn of it or. I loved the porn of it. Absolutely. Okay. 100%. Like I'm an audiophile. So every oh. noise that they made. Uh-huh just oh. so oh, much I'm more. a total audiophile when I watch porn too like I could not get off without like the audio of porn me neither absolutely totally, not totally I not. had to train my husband into making noise yeah <laughs> yeah silent <laughs> sex is like a curse of this country so um, yeah no w- yeah pointless. but I love that because the violet wand it does it makes that zap noise that really yeah. is yeah it's very cool well, um, also, the people you use it on make a lot of noise, too. So that is this part of it. And that's why I was, like, loving the porn of it. I was like, oh, that's a lot of noise. I like this. I'm going to keep watching it. Ooh, that's a lot of noise. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you so, you got up on stage and? I got zapped. And, uh, uh, well, don't do that if you're wearing a steel pone corset. <gasps> oh, oh damn. So that must that, have been painful. No, it was great. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was great. But if you're if you're not expecting it, don't do that if you're wearing a steel bone corset. And <laughs> okay. Things but, you learn on Come With Us podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Things you learn when you just randomly get up on stage. So, yeah, for real. Where did he and, touch you on your body with it? That- well, so that wasn't the first one. The first one he did on my arm. Okay. And the type of wand he had, and he had it cranked up a bit, it actually left a mark on my arm. And I was like, oh, and I was touching that mark for like two days afterwards. Oh, my God. And just kind of going, just kind of going, oh, oh, yeah, I like this. And just every once in a while rubbing on my arm on where the mark was. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is good. The second thing he did that was running across the the corset. Oh, oh, Oh my God. I I just want to pause before we go off on that, just because sometimes people think, oh, that's so quote, weird that you want to have a mark after sexy and stuff. And I just want to remind people that when you were like in high school and stuff, that giving hickeys was this amazing sense of something, pride. There's this reminder, I call it a souvenir of a good Uh time, you know, and that's what marks can be. So even though there's this tendency, if, if you haven't been familiar with the world of kink to go, oh, that's just, you know, weird and out there for somebody else. 
pretty much if you ever enjoyed giving a hickey or biting somebody just a little bit on the butt, and leaving a cute little kiss mark there or something like that, then that's all marking is just a question of degree. So, well, you can also compare it to sports when you slide into oh. home base and you get a giant bruise on your thigh, you show it off. You're like, look, Hey, look what I, I did. Literally it's, it's my was, badge of honor. I was, yes. I'm like fucking this guy right now, like a friend of mine. And I was like looking in the mirror this morning and I was like, how did I get this bruise? I can't, I can't see on my shoulder right here. And he was like, Oh, it's when I pin you down and fuck you. Like, like where your he- legs above your head. I'm like, Oh yeah, that probably makes a lot of sense. <laughs> bruises on the inside you of your thighs from it? the hips. Yeah. Or something yes. like that. Yeah. 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 The ones on the hips. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. But they're hot. I totally agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So go back. So the it rub did it on the steel boned corset and what the heck does that feel like? I can't, I can't even imagine. And I'm familiar with the violent one, but not like that. Shocking. Shocking. <laughs> Touche. That's funny. <laughs> Bottom bump. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go. No, it was, it was an interesting sensation. I wasn't expecting it. And I was just like, oh, okay. That's new. <laughs> and then my turn was over and I had to go sit the hell back down. I was like, oh, okay. Aww. So uh, maybe a few, a year or so after that, um, I was in the D.C. area and there was a, a friend of mine came up who was also like to visit and he was also interested in the violet wand. We saw, I want to say it was LFMP at Crucible in, in D.C. It was like a big sale with all these vendors and uh, we decided to go and we saw violet wand kits and we were like, yep, that. And the rest is history. Wow. So in terms of like the, vi- like what, ex- I mean, and I can show you examples. We have one here, but are mm-hmm. they like the premier kind of electro shock toy on the market? Or are there other ones or is this your, why, why specifically um, do you focus on this one or do you use this one or do you, you know, mostly because it's easiest it's what it's what beginners use a lot. So there's several different kinds. And the one you have, I can tell just by looking at it, is a digital. Yeah. So it has um, a plug at the end. Um, well, they, they all have plugs, but what so, yours yeah, right. so you, what yours has is on the inside, it has like a computer chip instead of metal coils. Okay. And you can tell because it's also known as the solid state. Can you turn it for me a little bit on the end? So I can see the back. Yeah, that right there. That's different than uh, mechanical. Mechanical okay. has so you have all one solid piece, and then you have like a rubber grip yeah. on it, right? And also, yeah, that's like a detachable, right? So, but that that housing right there, that's all one solid piece. The, right. the attachments are different, right? Yeah. So I can show mm-hmm. you the attachments and stuff. So basically, it's it you you would you would consider this like the easiest, most yes. convenient one to use yeah that's the one that you should learn on that's the one that you should do if you're coming into electro play okay and when i teach classes this is the one that i mostly teach okay okay before we go further will you give the safety caveat what do people need to know before they just start willy-nilly yeah please for the love of god if you have any kind of battery operated medical device do not play Mm -hmm. with electricity ever also pacemaker yeah. Pacemaker that includes cochlear implants that includes well cochlear implants mm. are not like life saving devices but it can still fuck their day. Okay, um, good to know. There's what about also belly button rings and like a repair. No, those no. are fine. It's it's only if it's like a, a battery operated device that you need like that's life saving. So like I stopped a scene that I watched one time because they did not double check for every device. And it was a, um, the person had a, um, what do you call it? The diabetes one where it's like attached, it's a insulin the pump. pump. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that was a problem. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you said so. Oh. Yeah. So it was actually attached to her and you know how they, they're like surgically implanted so that they can get the insulin directly into their, into their bloodstream or I don't, I don't know anything about it, but into them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't want to fuck with that. If something goes wrong with that, that is a life-saving device that is now broken. And if that person has an episode or any kind of issue with their levels, problem, massive okay. problem. Okay. So we don't play with that. You don't play if you're pregnant. Okay. Um, and I got to say it's like um, 
any like mental conditions like if you know anxiety and stuff like no honestly you know Actually, i don't know it'll help with that and i'll and i will i'll be honest like what per, perhaps i would what scares me the most about this is the before it's like right the before it's like the adrenaline before mm -hmm. it's this like super heightened sense of like your heart is beating like what am i gonna get zapped like i don't know like it's a little scary for me like it's so that. for that it kind of depends on what you're going for because when i do a private session or if i'm at a club doing a demo i will ask what are you looking for what sensation do you want mm -hmm. i can make it feel like a like a back scratch you guys ever have that like with your oh, partner and it just God. feels so oh. good oh the best it's the yes. sexiest feeling right mm -hmm. You can feel like you're having a back scratch. I can make it feel like just a little bit of a stingy kind of massage and I can be a sadistic bitch. Mm -hmm. So it just depends. It just depends on the client basically. Yeah. It's what they want. I've had people where I've literally taken. So I have this one tool called a stiletto where it's like this teeny tiny sharp pointy object, Ooh. like a pin. And I can write my name on the person or stuff like pig or come bag or whatever other humiliating thing they want. And it literally will leave electrical burns, but I can write. I play tic-tac-toe on people. No way. No way. Wow. Okay. And then another, I think, important thing kind of, and, and this is also brought up yesterday by this guy who I was telling him about you and like this episode. And he was like, Oh, my ex loved it. Like I would put it on her clit right before she came and she would blow up. And I was like, I'm not like, from what I, we talked about, like, what is the intern? Like, can you use this inside? Can you use this on the genitals? Like where, what, and what, where do you like, like, what's the whole idea? <laughs> where do you draw the line? Yeah. There no, the wait, line. Where do you draw, like, can you yeah, with the wand and stuff. So yes, you can use it on the genitals. Anything external is fine. We typically do not. the The basic rule is nothing above the waist, but it's, it's so, close to your heart because it's close to your heart. But and it can, the, even the without wand, a pacemaker, yeah. the wand is somewhat more contained than, okay. say, a tens unit. We do not use tens unit above the waist. Jesus Christ, no. What's a tens unit? That's another electrical thing. It's okay. uh, you guys ever been to like PT? Physical yeah. therapy. Physical so therapy. chiropractors use it. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. the, it's the okay. current patches and they the current goes in between them. Uh, yeah, so okay. that's the major one that you don't want above the waist because mm -hmm. you don't want anything with the current going between the two pieces to go anywhere near your heart. Okay. Okay. Good but know. like, for example, the wand, so we're talking about the wand today, mm -hmm. like one of these attachments, one of these ones, you could put it on the clit, right? And yeah. That's totally fine. Could yeah. you put it inside you? No, no. Okay. Absolutely not. Those, the ones that you get as just your basic attachments that come yeah. with the kit. No, those yeah. are not medical grade glass. They okay. shatter when they break. Ooh, so okay. if it breaks inside you, that's a, that's a hospital, ouch, ouch, massive ouch, hospital ouch. issue. Um, oh. And they're not wow. medical grade glass. So the ones that I have are double walled medical grade glass with gold in the glass. So it's more conductive, it doesn't shatter, and it's incredibly thick. So if it happens to break, it's not going to shatter. It's just going to yeah. crack a little bit, and it's it's a lot more safe. What about the – so it came with one of the, one of the rubber ones. So you say it's not medical-grade glass, but it also comes with – so let's just talk about these attachments, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so there are in – in this basic kit, there are five glass ones. Mm -hmm. um, three that are like kind of just have one little knob or, you know, circle at the end, kind of like for, you know, different size circles. And then two, one that looks like a rake, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. And then one that looks like, like a comb basically. So the and comb is really nice in your hair. Actually, give me one <laughs> second. I'm like losing battery power here. Hang on. No, you're good. Oh. You're good. But, um, and then it also, Ooh, just for you guys. I never thought I mean, about actually combing it through your hair. Holy mackerel. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good. It I've feels never so done good. that. Oh wow. my God. The back scratching thing and the hair thing. You know, you know what it reminds me of? Remember those um, octopus, yes. you know, those things that you just like, <laughs> yeah. it feels so good when you do it on your head. Yeah. I have mm. one of those. You can use that. <laughs> for, you can, you can I, actually use that with the violet wand if you have the no right attachment. No way. Really? Mm -hmm. so, so obviously- the next thing I, I would highly recommend that you get something called a, um, oh my God, what is it? Like a, it's a handheld attachment. 
that mm. you can hold mm. and then you the make clowns. everything else. Yeah. And then you can make everything, you can use whatever your heart's desire. If it's metal, you can probably use it for the violet wand. Okay. Just get super creative with it. Okay. And then um, and then it comes with like a rubber, I guess this is rubber or silicone, I think maybe. It should be it, silicone. Silicone. Yeah, yeah, it didn't come with it. I think that oh, it I think with it. You just I think that was it. an extra one and stuff. Okay. Yeah. But what do you do with that one with that rubber? Yeah. Um oh, looks this... like pincers at the end. You can put that on the clit. Okay. Um, Ooh. you can run it up and down balls. You can, uh, te technically you should be able to use it for nipples. Mm. Um, but again, with something like that, you have to be really careful because with that specifically, because it's like this, the current is going to go between. Oh, okay. So you probably don't want to mess with it near your heart. Like probably we're probably for our not. sake, we're going to say no, don't, don't. It's okay. good point. Unless you know that it's going only like if it's not going between so like the violet wand you should be okay mm -hmm. um actually if you want to we could do a quick experiment can you turn that on yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah oh god am i gonna be a guinea pig of yes. course <laughs> nobody else is there hun. <laughs> okay. i should be doing this in my dungeon that way i can show you guys my stuff too I so know. um here you can do so this attachment you just you pop them in right like this mm -hmm. and then how do you turn i just plugged it there's in. a little knob on the bottom remember the knob on the bottom you just turn it on i feel like we need to take a trip to dc now yes I know. yes you do i can show you all my toys no, <laughs> I, I, no. I don't know if you guys can Literally. see that but it's like yeah, remember we did this you and i did this when we were playing with it last time but you i can see the yeah. current yeah yes this is yeah. before we did video, so, and we couldn't show it to everybody. Here's the thing. If you I just think. flat touch it with your hand, it's less. Just put your hand right on it. It's a lot less. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. So, nothing. yeah. So, this oh, is the nothing. law, the law like of surface area. So, the more you're touching, the less current you're going to feel. But if you just go, boop, yeah, you're going to get shocked. Yeah, that's probably my issue because I'm, like, too scared. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just getting, like. So, okay. but if you just, like, touch it. You're not gonna get that much. Oh, yeah. you get like you get like it's like a it's like a ringing through your finger almost. Mm -hmm. It's like a like a vibrating, but nothing shocking, I guess. Right. <laughs> okay. Wow. But if you hold it just a teeny bit further away, the sparks will jump to your. Yeah, finger. I can, you can. Like, I don't know if you. I don't know if my wow. camera will catch this. But like, yeah. <gasps> oh, I saw it. Ooh, yeah, yeah, you can see it. Wow. So that's that's actually called the spark gap. Ooh. And there's a gap between your finger and the electricity, so it wants to jump. Oh, yeah, I see it there. That's cool. That's awesome. You can oh, don't no. touch that part. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> what? Down there. That Do is that. hilarious. <laughs> okay, so don't touch that. <laughs> turn it off before you touch it. Turn, turn it off before you try and take it out. That's another safety tip. Okay. You don't want to touch the metal piece when it's on because, okay. again, metal is going to be way more. Okay. Yeah. Way more. Can Okay. So we went through this one. This one looks great for nipples. I will end the clip. Yeah, but don't do it. Don't do it. Well, don't don't so risk you, your you heart. Like, well, you'll get us thrown off of YouTube if you do it right now. So yeah, do it in yeah, your private do time. For sure. I mean, so do, I do it. I do but it also do it with somebody there who they can call the cops or call 911 if something were to happen. So the way oh. that one was sparking, though, and that's what I wanted to see, was it wasn't going in between the two prongs. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can – here, let me turn it back on one more time. I, I didn't have it on the highest setting. So you don't uh, have to. You don't have to put it on. High. Oh, um, <laughs> no, no. There's no spark. There's no. Yeah, it's black. nothing. If nothing is going in between it, you should be okay. Like you should be even to. Oh. If you hold your hand on top of it, it'll jump to your hand, not between. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that one actually should be safe for nipples. Okay. But okay. holy hell, on a clit. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Ooh, yeah, wow. I mean, shit. That is like. Oh. It, I mean, it, honestly, it it feels good. I know what you. I, I can see the appeal is amazing. I get it. I get it. It's, it's really cool. Do you want to put so, the comb one in and try yeah, combing yeah. your so hair for a second? About, let's talk about You can other. absolutely do that one. That, I, now I want to so do that. So that's the rake. If you that's actually the rake. do the no, other the one. Comb. Rake. Sorry, the rake. This yeah, is the get comb. the comb. Yeah. Is it actually called the comb and the rake? The comb, yeah. I'm not going to be able to hear you guys for a second, but or hold on. Um, that's okay. We'll hear you. Put this. Back on. Okay, now I can hear you. So what do I do? I just brush my hair, basically? Turn it on? Yeah, you're not going to be able to go all the way through your hair like it's because of the headphones, but you can just kind of 
brush it lightly up against your scalp. So okay. maybe in the back. Ooh. Oh my God. Is that fun? Try it right in the back, um, right above your neck. Okay, right above. <laughs> oh, okay. That hurt. That like that hurts a little bit for for me. Let me try. Okay, oh, wow. turn it. Yeah, yeah. So your hair is actually a little bit more conductive. Oh, I didn't. Which is why that. Aaron freaked out when it touched his skin and is like, "Oh my god, it's burning my hair." Oh right. Yeah. Oh, and what did we get wrong in that episode? It wasn't burning your hair. <laughs> Oh, okay. It just am I about to am I about to be bald in the back of my no, head? No, absolutely no. not. No. Okay. It, so you it, can you smell something a little bit weird right now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, not totally. your hair burning. It's just ozone. It's the electricity around the wand. Oh. Ah. Okay. Fair it enough. feels amazing though. So that's oh, wow. I'm sorry, but that's the part that I just started busting out laughing because when when you touched it, Erin, and you were like, "Oh God, it's burning my arm hair," and I was like. No, it's not. Well, like, yeah, I, I, when I touched it, like, I touched it once, and it was like, all right, that, that doesn't really feel that bad. And so, finally, the entire episode, anytime they had me doing anything, I would just put it on and mash it on my skin and just hold it there. And yeah. Wait and wait and wait and. Tough side. Look at yeah. her; she's still going. I mean, I feel so good though. <laughs> I know, right? So much what? fun to be had. But well, that's good. Well, and what were you saying? Also, um. You mentioned that you think that the violet one, like people are misusing things and stuff. Tell us about um, what your thoughts were. Like there are other products or something coming out using this? Yeah. So there's a few different kinds of wands that look similar. So what you guys have, um, do you mind me asking where you got it? Oh, I got it um, from one of my vendors and stuff. Like it's, okay. I, you can see the brand name on the box. Mm. Let me tell you. It's called... Um, Twilight Violet Wand. Okay. And it's by Zeus. Yeah, yeah. that one's fine. Okay. So there's a few different brands that, so there's digital, which is the one you guys have, which is low power, uh, well, low voltage. Mm -hmm. And the waves feel kind of sharp because okay. they're actually designed to be sharp. Okay. And then there's the mechanical, which has kind of S waves and it's designed to be a lot smoother, but the power on that thing packs a wallop. Okay. Wow. Like it's so, so intense. The one that's coming out on the market that is um, used for beauty products and stuff is crap. Oh, <laughs> use, for, use for beauty what, products. What, no, mean, what are they going to do? Products? Well, okay. So the way they market it is it stimulates hair growth. It gets rid of acne. It gets rid of wrinkles. It gets rid of fine lines. It da 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 da. Okay, mm. I'll take one. Yeah. I mean, so, if it, that's true. No, right. Like the only thing it does is because of the frequency of the of the electricity, because electricity itself, you know how it felt like a massage in your hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That all it does is stimulate like the um, the blood and, you know, stuff like that. So it's talking about getting rid of the puffiness and the dark circles oh, under yeah. your eyes. First of all, no, don't put it under your eyes. Yeah. Um, it is a very, very low power tool. So it only feels like the teeniest bit kind of vibrating, sparky. Mm -hmm. And that's why they think it's working. But. It doesn't. It may get rid of it temporarily, kind of like putting a cucumber on your eyes gets rid of the puffiness temporarily. Yeah. But it yeah. really doesn't do shit. Yeah. And yeah. then, so it actually reminds me of, I have this thing that I wanted to share with you guys. I, I'm going to put it in your chat so you can see what I'm talking about. But it's the original, one of the original um, advertisements for the Tesla violet wand for the Tesla thing that he made. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Way, yeah. way back in the day. Yeah. yeah, we we learned about the we talked a little bit about the history. Mm -hmm. I remember. They're like very old. They're like yeah. over a hundred years old, right? Yeah. So Tesla actually invented them. That's yeah. crazy. But that but ad appeared in Popular Mechanics. And <laughs> so look at all the things that it cures. It's rheumatism, paralysis, neuritis. I don't even know what that is. Nervousness. Yeah. Skin diseases, Ooh. headaches, constipation, prostate trouble. Uh, I think I found one where it actually says that it helps with um, anal polyps. 
And oh my god, demonic possession was my all-time favorite. Oh wow! <laughs> wow. Okay. Damn. I mean, so, honestly, like the they're, they're putting it literally as like, yeah, basically. It's like so you can you can kind of see where now when they're saying the high frequency wand, which can be bought on Amazon, Target, Walmart, eBay, everything. I just looked it up and I was just like, you're kidding, right? I've seen it on hmm. over and over again. It shows up on um, TikTok. Okay. And I'm like, no, no, no. I got to look at I no. that's 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 wild. I mean, that's okay. to me. Yeah, definitely not. This is purely, I think, more of like a pleasure thing. You know, obviously we're yeah. advocating in a pleasure space. Yeah. Not in a, you know, there's no cure all except basically orgasm. Orgasm generally helps almost everyone. Or and it's like it's still headaches. not perfect. Real so. medicine, but I mean like not yeah. pseudoscience. Like yeah. you know. Well, so the TENS right. unit, the reason they use that in, in PT is because that actually is a non chemical form of um what do you call it i'm losing words here like therapy. stimulation it, like pain management oh okay mm. and it actually works so i've got arthritis in my knees and if i don't want to like sit there on a thousand milligrams of ibuprofen yeah i can do the tens unit and it actually helps yeah yeah Damn. all right well this is amazing, but again, I knew this was going to go fast. So we're, we need to kind of wrap up this episode, but Dara, there's so much more that we want to talk to you about that. If it's okay, we, we want to have you back and we'll talk about all the different kinds of BDSM fun, the Dom, the little bit, the littles and anything else and everything, if that's good sure. with you. And if you have any more electric okay. questions, obviously I yeah. can answer those too. <laughs> I think we have some, a little bit more time for, for a few more questions. Or at least, like, you know, a couple minutes, right? Go quick. We're 30 minutes in. Oh, well, I meant I know, for the I next know. episode. You can hit 30. me with those, too. No, I just wanted to ask, like, what is, like, the strongest? Like, do people really act? Like, I'm thinking, like, cattle prod level kind of, like, is that? Oh, a, is people that use like, a cattle prod. Mm -hmm. People use cattle prod? Oh, Cattle my. prods, yep. Yes. And do you, yes. like? No. Give me your phone. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. No. <laughs> do you, do you, and in your, in your business, do you have like any really hard no's with cli like clients come to you and say like, oh, I want this, I want this. Well, wait, you know, that'll like, let's talk about that one in the next one then. Just wrap up. Anything oh, I was else? Electro in terms of, like the electro, but you know, oh, yeah, that's any a nose bit of a the long electro? answer. Okay, so we'll talk about it in the oh. next episode. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, um, all right, good. Well, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all, Aaron, Tina. I love that this is, it's so exciting. It's so interesting. And I like that last time Tina wasn't that excited about the violet one. Now she's like, Ooh, I want more of that. So Aaron, <laughs> aren't you feeling the same? Well, that's uh, what I'm yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's interesting. It's, Hey, I don't know. There's a lot, I wish you there's guys a lot to unpack in my brain about it. Had, um, like the it yourself, you could like, it's, it's, yeah, because when you have an ex, we have three people who, you know, aren't really knowledgeable in this kind of stuff. Like, you're not going to, yeah, you're going to get, like, yeah. just surface level opinions. You're not going to get, you know, the real right. and, kind of. And I think that what it shows is also that a lot of times you have to try things more than once to oh. get a real idea of what. And hear from somebody who really does see the value and, and knows about it to help you understand what you might be missing. So anyway, Absolutely. I think this was great. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to Dara, um, the electro Khaleesi from pink kink podcast. And you can find pink kink podcast, any place you get your podcast from, um, as well as on all the social medias. They're everywhere. TikTok, on Instagram. And it's, yeah, so much to offer and so much information and insight. So thank you. Thank you. I'm Beth Darling, your sexy genius from sexyedschool.com. Please go to sexyedschool.com and go check out the classes. Um, and also on behalf of Manscaped, please go to manscaped.com and use promo code come with us. And that's a whole different form of electro sexy fun because shaving, trimming each other, having erotic shaving is absolutely can be one of the best things that you and your partner do. It can turn a chore. I think of it as a chore that I never want to do into something exciting and fun. And the fact is, is Manscaped products. I never thought I'd be excited over a freaking trimmer. 
And oh my God, it was awesome. It's just, it makes things so easy. It's got the light on the end. It's the lawnmower 4.0. And then they have the weed whacker for your nose that just takes care of those pesky little things coming out. And um, yeah, all kinds of fun. I love that I have clients everywhere going, oh my God, I never did. I never did um, erotic shaving or trimming before. And we loved it. So try something new and get something accomplished. So, um, All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then we will see you next week with Come With Us Podcast. Thanks for being here for the bare naked truth about sex, love, sex, and relationships. We'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Come With Us Podcast. Be sure to follow us on social media at Come With Us Podcast and send in your questions, comments, and confessions to Come With Us Confessions at gmail.com. Until next time, keep it fun, flirty, and naughty.